Hey guys, Cubix here, and I'm going to be teaching you how I made these. Just gorilla tag blender profile pictures and thumbnails, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. So, you're going to need three things. Uh, you're going to need blender. You're going to need something that can run blender. And you're going to need Nacho Engine's IK rig. And how to get Nacho Engine's IK rig is you go to, like, Microsoft Edge or something, and you search up Nacho Engine's IK rig. Go to Releases. And then you press gorilla tag IK rig dot blend. And then you open it in Blender. So now you got this. You got the IK rig. Now we're going to want to press as viewport shading. Viewport shading makes it have color and stuff. And the next one makes it have like shadows and stuff. Now. Click on the mesh and press shade smooth. Now, if you're in the blender thing I have, you should have like this stuff already there and stuff. So just remember to use it. You, you. So you go to modifiers now, press add modifier, and then you press subdivision surface. Now it should look weird, but that's good, it's supposed to. Now you scroll down, press simple, and then press 2. Next, you gotta um, press add modifier again, and then press solidify. Now, you got like the shading stuff good now. You can't see it at the moment, but you will later. Now, to, cha like, to customize it, you tap on the gorilla thing, and then press tab. And then you can press, like, backspace and stuff to, like, delete it. Also, remember to have caps lock on, so it doesn't look like this. If you have caps lock on, it will look like this. Which is like how it is normally in gorilla tag. Now, since you got that, you can like press Control S to scale it up and stuff. Next, to change the color, you gotta click on the mesh thing, go to Material, and when it says Primary Color, you can just like change it around and stuff. There, that looks good now. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to put on cosmetics, that's something else. So, you gotta go to Microsoft Edge and put in sketchfab.com. And, like, go to sketchfab. You have to sign in, I'm pretty sure. But, like, then you have to search 3D models, and you have to, like, choose what you want. Like, I'm going to search up party hat. And then, boom, there's a party hat. Now, there are... So remember to, like, get, like, the sources and, like, get the FBX file. FBX is good. Then you go to Blender, and press File, and Import, FBX. Find it, and then just put it in. Now, one of two things will happen here. One, it goes in, and two, it goes in, I mean, no, it doesn't go in, and it says something like, some type of po file is not supported or something. But, like, if it does go in, you can just, like, put it where you want it. There. After you... But sometimes, if you search up the cosmetic, it doesn't pop up. Like, 
I'm gonna try and get my other cosmetic. It's not gonna pop up. Probably because I spelled anniversary wrong. But if you could search up third anniversary cosmetics. I can't spell anniversary. See, look, you had to type in Gorilla Tag Anniversary Assets, and it has the cake in it. All, all three cakes, that's cool. And, like, you put it in normally. But, what if you want a cool background with it? Like this one had. You got uh, to go to Edit, Preferences, Search up image, and you gotta how to check import, export image. Imp, I mean, import images as plain. Then when you go how to add, it has image and then images as plain. So you could just like get an image. Put in the image. Like that. And yeah. But. What if you want to pose? This way I'll do the posing thing at the later. Just wait a second. And like what if you want to see what the camera sees? So you press add. Camera. Oh wait. No. Make sure it's like looking like this. So it's like easier to work with the camera. And then, boom, you got a camera right here. Now, depending on what you want, because it's this is like for, at the moment, wait, let me just. So, like, to change, like, the shape of it, you got to go to output, and then we got the stuff right here. Now, if you wanted a square, you just have to be the same number. Boom. Now, there's another thing you need to know. The sun, the thing that no gorilla tag player see. So, you go to light, and then sun, and then boom, there's the sun. But, you go to data, data, whatever you want it, you want, whatever people say. And then when it says shadow under it, you have to press contact shadows. And then this is like the strength of the sun. Like, I could do this and then... Boom, the sun is incredibly bright. But I do like 10. But if you have like a picture like this, I would have like the sun... Like, me personally, I would like, I would like, uh, you know, like, me personally, I would, I would have the sun where the, where the light source would be in the thing, like, in the picture thing. So then it would look more realistic. So now we got this, but if you want to pose it, you gotta click on, like, the, the mesh, I mean, not the mesh, the other, the thing other than the mesh. Then you go to pose mode. Now, you click on the hands if you want to move the hands, but this thing, if it's blue, then you can change both of them at the same time. But if it's, but if you click it again, it only changes one. And then boom, you got this. And this looks awesome because it's me. So, then, if you want to export it, you got to go to the output thing, press PNG, and then press RGBA, and then you do press that in the file you wanted it is, and then you can also name it. But to see what it looks like so far, it's going to be like a zoomed in version. You got to go to render, then render animation. See, look, this looks amazing. It's like zoomed in a little bit, but it's still amazing.
Also, it, it's probably going to make you stuck, so you can't, like, zoom in or out or, like, do stuff. So you gotta press the camera button, and then you should be able to do it. So, yeah. That's my tutorial on how to do this. You should see.